Hey guys, I am Philip Bloom and welcome to this issue of Shutter Magazine and Bloom Photography Studios. Um, I want to show you guys how we get into Lightroom and really hack its ratings uh, system to label all of our pictures, how we want to order them, what kind of artwork, what sizes, um, and move through a sales session really quickly with a client. Uh, I also want to show you guys how we run sales sessions with clients who many of ours are destination couples overseas. So how are we running sales sessions um, with them when they can't come in the studio? So if you'd like to, you can sign up at uh, bloomphotography.com uh, for photographers. And uh, I'll be going over some live videos of that all this month as well. Um, but for right now, let's check out Lightroom. I'm going to bring you in here and let you see the screen. Uh, so here is a premiere. As you can see, I'll just show you up top. We talked about folders in the article. Um, Folders up here, we have our pictures folder on the computer itself, this large desktop, and we have it divided up by years and under 2016 couples, I have um, this couple in here. But we're not gonna mess with folders. That just represents the images we ingested into the computer, all of our images saved and backed up. Here in collections, um, we have a very similar structure, 2016 wedding couples. We created this collection uh, set and uh, beneath it here is Samantha and Andrew wedding premiere and you can see here we have just 769 images the images we culled down that we actually wanted to show them their finished images so we can actually just hit tab uh, which I usually do during a premiere and make those side screens disappear um, you can see in here we have all kinds of ratings so we have this image has a two star rating uh, which I just made disappear this one has a one star rating. Basically, we went through the couple, with the couple, and um, asked them on that first run through to rate all the images they wanted as two stars. We can click on the filter down here and see just those two star images. Um, and we can look at this number here and realize they have 129 images were favorited. Uh, too many to fit in our wedding books, which begin with 50 images. Um, but they can always add on pages. It's the same as adding a, any other artwork product. And then we can look at those two star images. We can look at just one star. Right now we're looking at greater than one. Um, let's look at just equal to one. These are all images that they chose, uh, 191 images that they chose in their first run through. And yet uh, they, we were able to narrow those down in the second run through so they had a more manageable number uh, that we could than use for their book design. And, and when we're going through with a couple, we're really focused on books. So albums are a great place to start in your business um, if you want to maximize the number of images you're selling to tell full stories, uh, not just to show one image on display at a time. But all of our packages do include one uh, enlargement. We're gonna go through and rate several images with a red label. So you can see here, if I click away, uh, Lightroom allows you to red label images by clicking the button six, and that creates that red image around it. I'll show you, I, could, I can mark any of these with a, the number six button on my keyboard, and they all um, become red. I, I can just click six again and unlabel them because, frankly, this isn't actually an enlargement they want. It's a nice, fun storytelling image for their book, um, but not an artistic kind of standalone image. Uh, so we'll just, when we're looking at multiple images like this, I can just click on the one image Click six again, make it disappear. And here we are in the red filter um, with just the image that they want as an enlargement for their home. Now here's the other keys that we use. We use five stars for what we call gift prints. These are eight by 10 size images um, that are included as a kind of a filler product, but a great display item in all of our packages. Um, and that adds value for them uh, and a little bit of profit for us. So these are gonna be eight by 10 images. Uh, we mount them and retouch them. Uh, before uh, delivering them to the couple. And then there's some other things you can look at here. Uh, their parents did not come with them, but if a parent did come, I would probably use this yellow label here. Um, you know, if the parent has these favorite, I could just hit click number seven, and that's gonna rate these images yellow. And then we'll have a good view of the images that just the parent really likes, and we could sell them a small parent book or brag book um, and, and keep track of those that they want in that design as well. Um, let's just unlabel those. And uh, the one other thing that we'll do is use flags. Uh, we don't have any here, but if a couple wants thank you cards, 
Um, then we can click P for pick or P, which gives a flag rating. What I'll do with the couple at the point of picking um, gift prints or images for a thank you card is just scroll through in grid mode like this. So G for grid mode and then scroll through and hit all the ones that they would potentially like for their uh, thank you card. And then we can just look at all the ones that we picked with, a, with the P button with a, a flag. And if we're going to have to narrow this down, well, this one flares kind of coming through. Let's hit U for unpick. And that's her dad, not her, her husband. So let's unpick that. And here we have in the flag filter the images that they want for their gift cards. So we just have, we've created this key. We always use flags for thank you cards, Christmas cards, um, items that we're going to put together into a design later. We always use two star, obviously, because that's the process of um, narrowing down and then further narrowing down by um, down rating some of the images to one star. So we always use that for our books and albums. Um, we always use red stars for enlargements. And it doesn't matter what size enlargement they want. We're not asking them to make all those decisions right at the beginning. They just need to think about the images that they want. And that's where we want them to start. Um, once, once we've gone through and we know which package they want, we can go ahead and pay for that package and decide, um, you know, that package includes a 16 by 20 enlargement. Uh, now you can upgrade that if you like, or do you like 16 by 20? Does that work for you? Um, and we'll go ahead and the most important item I can show you, I'm going to hit tab and bring up the side menu here again. In collections, um, it does mostly reflect the same organization structure as our folders menu. But there's something extra in here that I want to show you. In collections, um, down at the bottom, you'll find we have these, fold, these collection sets, print orders, a portfolio, where we'll just drag images that we want in our portfolio. We'll use them on our website and places. As we go, we can put them there. Um, we have card designs, canvas orders. So let's say we have print orders here. Um, we'll literally just go into print orders as soon as the couple leaves the sales session and create, in this case, um, a collection that says, for example, Samantha Engagement 8x10 gift prints. Um, and then we'll collect yet, uh, create a yet another collection that would say uh, Samantha and Andrew's um, images for their book. Um, you can put that in, we have a, actually a folder here, book designs as well. Um, so you can create a, a collection set for every type of item you create, whether you offer canvases, we have canvas orders here. That way when we're ordering from our cam canvas uh, provider, we can go in here and see all of the orders that are ready for shipping. Now you can see all of these orders have already been edited and uh, orders have been placed. How do I know that? You can see at the beginning of all of these um, folders, these collections rather, um, a Z. So as soon as you have edited and placed that order, we just right click, we rename the group, and we go up here and we just add the letter Z to the beginning of that collection's name. The wonderful thing about that is that uh, you can see here in print orders, we have so many. These are print orders at the top that we know we still need to edit and fulfill. Below that, when the letter Z is added to the name, they all drop down in alphabetical order. So we still have all of these orders to refer back to, to reorder if we need to but they're at the bottom of the list um, and we're only looking now uh, at a really quick view right here of images that we know we still need to order. Um, so it keeps us clean and organized and that really is the most important um, use of collections down here after your sales premiere. Now of course when we're running a sales session we're not removing this large desktop uh, from our workstation to take into our sales room. Uh, we used to actually do that. Uh, but no, actually now, although all of our work is done here, uh, we're using just this small laptop on our lap for the sales session, and we're projecting the images up in a larger format, uh, which can be very uh, impactful for sales sessions. Um, so I recommend you do that. If you'd like to find out exactly how we do that very easily and seamlessly um, without ruining any of our collections and keeping everything synced between computers, uh, we'll be showing that during our live videos this month at bloomphotography.com uh, slash photographer. So sign up there and we look forward to seeing you in, uh, in the chat rooms and live so we can interact and answer your questions. Have a great month. I'm Philip Bloom. We'll see you later.